Hello wellness friends. Today we're going to talk about a new technology and it's called the Vasper. And the Vasper, if you can see over my shoulder here, is a machine that sort of looks like a recumbent bicycle, but it's actually more like an, uh, uh, like a, uh, it's not a recumbent bike, but it's more like the new step. It's a push-pull versus uh, your legs going in a circular motion and your arms are also going in a push-pull. So if I call it a bike, it really isn't a bike, but it's, we're just going to call it a, a new piece of equipment a new um, technology. Now, at some point we'll show you these units that are attached to the bike, but effectively the man who invented this, his name is Peter Wasowski, and I was able to interview Peter and he was able to tell me about the science behind this. And Peter uh, was one of the developers of the Game Ready, and I don't know if any of you out there have had knee injuries or knee surgery, but there's a chance if you had that surgery, uh, you used a game ready or something similar to a game ready where you use uh, cooling on your leg and also some compression to help with the swelling. Now, I recently had a quadriceps tendon tear and I used the game ready to help control the swelling and pain. And I gotta tell you the the ice and the compression probably did more for my pain tolerance than the medications that I, I initially took but then I stopped taking because they didn't seem to be helping me much in the in the ice and the compression did seem to be helping me so uh, the game ready is something that's been around for a long time and Peter what he did is he took some of that science and he applied it to the machine uh, that we have here so this is Vasper and he told me that Vasper stands for vascular performance so this is meant to train athletes. It's meant to help people in rehab such as myself and it's also meant to help people who are training but perhaps they don't have a ton of time to train and they're using this technology to get more bang for their buck. He called the Vasper machine a force multiplier. It's a 21 minute workout that gives you a much more uh, intense workout than the 21 minutes would suggest. He said it's sort of like uh, an hour and a half of intensity of a workout. So if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of time, maybe this will appeal to you. So I want to talk a little bit about what Vasper is and the three pillars of the science behind it. And at the end of this video, if you want to go down into the description, we have all of Peter's links that talks about the science. They have a lot of information about what the Vasper does. They have a lot of charts and graphs and things like that so you can really get in depth as to what the uh, the science is behind this. But this is sort of the Cliff's Notes version. So effectively there's three pillars of science. Number one is they use blood flow constriction or restriction and what that does is you have some cuffs on your thighs, you have some cuffs on your upper arm and the cuffs are controlling your blood flow and they're also pumping in cold and when you're on the bike you will feel the cold and you will kind of feel a gentle squeeze on your arm but effectively what the the blood restriction is doing is it is isolating the lactic acid that's going to build up in your muscles and the reason behind the lactic acid being important is because your pituitary gland in your brain when it senses a high buildup of lactic acid it, it knows that your body is in a period of intense exercise therefore it will take steps so that you improve your cardiovascular and muscular endurance now when I I've only done this one time and and at the end of the video I'll tell you about the uh, experiment that I'm going to personally do to see how effective this technology is and there'll be a an adjacent video when I finish the uh, experiment so you I will be able to tell you whether it, it was something that benefited me or perhaps it won't benefit me but I will tell you I don't have any I'm not receiving any money for this I don't have any um, marketing agreement or anything like that so this will be an unbiased opinion as to whether this works I just want to put out content of new uh, technology that may be appealing to some people out there so the blood flow restriction creates the lactic acid. The lactic acid 
is sensed in the pituitary in your brain and it tells your body, hey, we're in a period of high intensity. We need to take action so that your body improves so that the next time that you're in a period of high intensity, it's easier for you to do that type of exercise. The second pillar of the science is cold therapy. Now, cold therapy is something that I am familiar with. I, I have been using cold therapy personally for a while and the cold therapy that I use is more like a cold shower or a cold plunge. I use that as recovery. Uh, I don't particularly like it. I know that there are lots of YouTube videos out there of people who do cold therapy, but I, um, and I think all of them kind of say the same thing, that it's, it's never pleasant. It, you never really get used to it, and I would concur with that. I don't really like it, but I do find that it is a benefit to me. So Peter told me that when you're using this, the cuffs that are on your thighs, that are on your arms, you'll have a little cuff around your neck that is not constrictive, but it does put the cold around your neck, so you get the carotid cooling here. Uh, if you notice, there's a little bit of a blue uh, mat here on the seat. There's also cooling that is going through this, so you're sitting on it. So as you're sitting on it, you're getting the cooling. And then finally, uh, when you're on the bike, uh, you'll be barefoot and you'll have your feet on some brass plates and they're also cold. So you're getting a lot of contact points that are, that are cooling the body. And when I had the interview with Peter, he said that you're, one of the reasons that they uh, believe the cooling is effective is when you're exercising, some of your blood just goes to the sweating process. So when you're exercising, you're evaporating the sweat to, to cool your body. This is kind of taking the place of that. So you're able to come and do the exercise at a high intensity and you're not going to sweat. Now, there's two benefits to that. Number one is it's, it's conserving the blood so that your performance is enhanced. And the second part is, if you're somebody that just wants to do the 21 minute workout and go back to work, well, there's a chance that you won't need to take a shower because if you don't sweat, then you can just put your clothes back on and go back to work. So uh, that's an advantage. It's, it's an advantage because it's a short workout and it's an advantage because uh, you don't have to take a shower. So. There's the second pillar of the science, and then the last pillar is one that I'm not as familiar with, but uh, if you go to uh, Vasper.com, you can look at the science behind some of this. But it's when you have your feet on those brass plates, you're discharging your static electricity into those plates. And it's wintertime here in Kentucky where I am located and the, the humidity gets really low and I'm sure many of you when you're walking around your house with your tennis shoes on in your house, if you have carpet and you touch the light switch, you get the uh, static electricity discharge and Peter was saying that because we wear tennis shoes with rubber soles, we don't discharge that electricity, therefore it builds up in our body and it, it kind of th throws off the homeostasis of the body and when you're on the uh, Vasper and you're using the brass plates, you're discharging that into the brass plates and it's of a benefit. So again, that's not really in my vocabulary as knowledge, but, uh, but you can go into the Vasper.com and find more information about that if you want to. Or you can go on and look at other video videos on YouTube, earthing and things like that are, are common uh, videos that you, that you can find. So when, uh, I was talking to Peter, he was talking about the, uh, the technology. I found it fascinating and I personally would be using it more for rehabilitation because of my quadriceps tendon tear. Uh, I have not recovered from that 100%. I'm, I would say I'm 50 to 60% at best. Therefore, I haven't really been able to exercise like I would normally like to exercise. I, I can no longer run. Uh, I can't really move laterally. So I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to use this equipment and see if it helped with my rehab and as, as far as the experiment goes what I'll do is I will give some baselines of some things that I'm going to do that will measure my cardiovascular fitness it, it will measure my left my left quadricep strength it will also measure uh, just some general fitness and we'll see at the end of the 30 days if I was able to improve on that so these machines are not uh, widely available yet. We were very lucky to have uh, two machines here. So it's, there's a good chance that these machines would be somewhat hard for you to find, but we hope that they will start to proliferate 
if they do what uh, Peter says that they do and some of the testimonials of people that are using this equipment, some of the professional athletes, some of the professional sports teams, their testimonials. And if it works like uh, they say it works, then I'm sure that they will proliferate all across the United States and the world. But that's basically the Cliff Notes version of what VASPR is. And what I will do is uh, I'll change it to some shorts because you need to be barefoot in some shorts and like a t-shirt. And I'll put all this on just so you can see what it looks like when you get ready to use the equipment. And then I'll do a real quick demonstration just to show you what it looks like to use it. And then check back in after 30 days or so after this video posts. And there should, there should be another video of me who, and I've actually gone through a 30 day training with these uh, machines. I want to try to do four times a week for effectively four weeks, so that would be 16 sessions, and I'll get a before and after, uh, a baseline reading and then a, an after reading to see how much uh, I was able to improve on some of the stuff that we're going to do for the, for the testing. So anyway, Vasper.com, please look it up. Uh, big shout out to Peter Wasowski for uh, letting me use his equipment and film this video, and hopefully uh, when you check back in in 30 days, I'll be able to, to give a, a, a review and it'll be an honest review on how the equipment works. So check back in with me next time. Thanks. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in my uh, short pants, t-shirt, barefoot on the machine. And when you use the uh, Vasper, chances are that there will be somebody to help you put the cuffs on. But you can do them yourself. It's not that big of a deal, but an extra set of hands does make the collar around your your neck and uh, this go a little bit faster but you can see here I'm just going to slide through and snug it up so both cuffs are on both leg cuffs are on the neck cuff is on uh, it has a chest strap monitor the Vasper does so you'll have to use the chest strap monitor when you're on the machine uh, to track your heart rate because the, the Apple Watch um, won't work. So now I'm on the machine, my feet are uh, touching the, the brass plates and um, let's get my legs back here in a proper spot so that we can see. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let the cuffs inflate. I'm just gonna put it on a, on a quick minute or two just so you can see the motion of the of the bicycle and I can describe to you the sensation of the cold and then I won't really do a full session but check back in after uh, a few weeks and I'll have another video posted of the uh, experiment that I'm going to do with with the Vasper so very easy here we've got a touch pad and we're just going to inflate and the the cold sensation is nothing like a a cold plunge or a uh, cold shower you certainly feel the cold i can feel it in my thighs i can feel it in my uh, upper arm i can feel it around my neck certainly feel it sitting on it but it's not uncomfortable like a cold plunge or a cold shower is so when you're using the machine, there are two lines, a, an upper limit and a lower limit, and you want to stay between the yellow lines as you're doing this. And then when you hit the intensity, the upper limit and lower limit will change and you'll go a lot faster and it will look more like this. And then it will bring you back down. So you go through phases of kind of recovery and then intensity. And the cool thing about this is it's a 21 minute workout, but there's several programs that you can choose from, from the menu. So you can do recovery, you can do rehab, you can do performance. And if you're an athlete and you're wanting to train for your sport, you can choose one of those programs. If you're somebody such as myself who's doing more of rehab, you can choose one of those programs. 
And again, all this can be found in the uh, Vasper.com and you can get a lot more information there. This is just kind of a synopsis of what the machine looks like being used and I'm describing kind of the sensation of what I'm feeling. So the cold is noticeable, but again, not uncomfortable. And quite frankly, I think it feels kind of good. And the squeeze of the cuffs, absolutely not intrusive at all. You can feel it, but it's, it's nothing like getting a, a high blood pressure where they squeeze up the millimeters on the blood pressure cuff to over 200. It's nowhere near that. So it's not uncomfortable at all. And I failed to mention, when you finish and the program is complete, there is a cooling mat that you go to and you lie on that mat. And it's also, uh, I think, 10 minutes that you lie on the mat and it's also cooling. And that's kind of your, the finishing part of the, of the routine. So you do the 21 minutes here and then the 10 minutes there uh, and then you're finished. Just uh, put your clothes back on and uh, you're done. So that's essentially the Vasper and the Cliff Notes version. And please check back in when I actually go through the experiment and let's see if I improve my fitness from where it is currently to where hopefully it will be in about 30 days. Okay, thanks a lot. See you next time.